Tay Marker, Wonder Woman 1984 review, guys. Let's get right to it. Uh, let's get to it. Action! What's going on, Alamo City Movie Talk fans? I'm Ryan D, a Colonel Ryan 680. I'm Angela, that cat lady, Ange. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Movie Talk for movie fans, guys. You've been the movie world right into your ears, devices. Thank you for making us a part of your day. Let's get right to it. Christmas Day, guys. Hopefully, everyone had a great Christmas, great holiday. Um, hopefully, everyone's just spending time with family right now. So everyone's off. If you're not off, sorry, guys. I mean, yeah, but is what it is let's get right to it man i mean wonder woman 1984 ladies and gentlemen this movie was originally supposed to come out in june of this past year this movie got shifted around and uh, it was supposed to open up second di release date was supposed to open up on my birthday and then now they <laughs> moved it till this year i mean till christmas day of course and we saw we actually had the uh, good opportunity to see it in theaters it's the only theater chain that's open right now of course we masked up uh yeah so now that we saw it in a theater experience and i know a lot of people are starting to you know they're real skeptical towards it and everything i know a lot of viewers probably saw on hbo max guys which is awesome um i want to see this movie in theaters and i'm glad that i did uh yeah so let's get right to it uh, this film came out two hours and 31 minutes um I guess my next highest level of question that I would say in this movie, Angela, and I want you to answer this for me. Or see if you can answer at the same time. Um, did you feel this movie dragged a little? Yes. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna do a countdown. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say yes to it at the same time. Yeah, it did. Um, okay. Our expectation for this movie, I know we talked about it off camera, was very high because of the first Wonder Woman. The first Wonder Woman was such a good film. It was a good origin story. I enjoyed it, highly enjoyed it. I just didn't like the climax of that movie, right? That was my major concern. Well, really, the only concern, but I got over it because it was such a good film. Now we go to Wonder Woman uh, 1984. I wanted to see more uh, 80s highlights in here, and we didn't get, we didn't see that at all, really. We didn't see too much. Even like there was some scenes where it showed the style, but it was just there. It was just like uh, they didn't really highlight it a lot, which I kind of felt yeah. felt like they could have capitalized on that so yeah, much. Yeah, I, I definitely see what you mean. Um, yeah. Yes, we do see like this the fashion of the time and yeah. people were wearing hair and the dresses and but, the yeah. clothes they were wearing. It, you know, they kind of joke a little bit about it. Yeah. But, um, I agree with you. I feel like I think you had mentioned earlier off camera. That you didn't hear pretty much any 80s songs. Yeah. Or this, d distinct popular 80s songs. We couldn't yeah, recognize any in this film. And that was kind of surprising. I didn't like that. This is probably like the only movie in the 80s that's set in the 80s that I haven't heard like a, at least a popular song. Like it's weird. I was just like, are they even in the 80s? Like half the time you were just figuring out like what. I mean, okay. I would say this, guys. I mean, well, obviously, we're going to talk about spoilers at the end. But this film was like an hour and a half, like an hour. Okay, an hour and 15 minute love story. And and Gal Gadot and Chris Pine, they really shed light into that, especially on the interviews and everything. They mentioned, hey, it's going to be a love story. Great. But I don't know if I wanted an hour and 15 minutes or even an hour of a love story. Um, I feel like I could have jocked you know chop this movie up a little bit two hours and 31 minutes that that was a long film i agree with you on the yeah. love story because i'm not into love stories but i don't agree with you on the time yeah. I, I don't think if they, if they put that love story in i don't think i would have wanted that any shorter than what yeah. it was because if you're chopping it up you're not talking about like two minutes here three minutes here you're, you're wanting a shorter one and i'm like i wouldn't want to see this love story well, see, condensed in like 30 minutes it's yeah, not gonna do it for me i mean okay look i mean <sighs> The way they brought Chris Pine in, and we'll talk about that later, but let's go and talk about this a whole like script wise and the whole climax. So this script, I felt like it was not done well. The screenplay, like I was just, it was annoying me how some of these details were. Like it just, you, it's like DC didn't pay attention or one of us didn't pay attention to details when it comes down to like just, um, just famous quotes and famous detail to the script writing. I felt like it wasn't genuine. I felt like it wasn't. It wasn't charisma as the first one was, if that makes any sense. Like, I felt like the first one was natural. This one, I felt like, was, I mean, obviously they're both scripted, but I felt like this one was more scripted. Um, and I've also, I felt like the music, the music tone was very off. I felt like it was very off based. A lot of the scenes, not just the love story, but just a lot of the, uh, even the action sequence, the, the, I felt like the music was a little off. I don't know if that, I don't know if you felt the same way on that. Um,. I, I, I wouldn't say it was off in the sense of like I'm watching it and I'm saying I'm thinking to myself it feels off but looking back on it it does it, it, it's uh, it doesn't necessarily almost always match what's yeah. going on um, but it doesn't it didn't bother me when I was yeah. watching the film uh, yeah and it's 
I guess, I don't know. I mean, I really, again, we had high expectations going into this movie, man. And I'm very surprised. Maybe it was too I'm, high. I'm surprised how, what what we got out of this movie. I really am. I'm sorry. I really am surprised. But okay, now that's how I'm going to talk about positives. I love the action sequences in here. The action sequences are very, done very, very well. I love Gal Gadot. I mean, she was awesome. I mean, dude, uh, she really showed so much power in her powers. And she, she is Wonder Woman, you know? And I loved her so much in it. I know... Um, I was just like, man, like she gets prettier and prettier every time we see her on camera, and I love that. I was like, dude, this this girl's awesome. This woman's awesome. I loved everything about. Oh, she's it. only awesome because she's pretty. Ah, uh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Not because she uh, can kick like exactly butt. that too, and have good hair while doing it. I mean, dude, hair was all over the place. I love how they showed that the detail though. That like whenever she's getting her butt whooped, her hair was all over the place. She was bleeding, and I I love how because they made her. Because that's realistic. Exactly, and I mean, <laughs> I loved it how they made her more down to earth in a sense to where you know like she's not invincible obviously she you know well, there's a and we reason see that. that yeah exactly we see that more in this film um okay so pedro pascal's in here of course everyone knows him from the mandalorian we know him from game of thrones you know all that stuff so seeing him in this role i gotta admit i am very surprised how cheesy this was yeah i know i, I, know, I, like, I love like uh, we love pedro pascal you're again, great it was you're this- awesome it but, was a script. I feel like it was a script. Yeah, I felt like it was a script too. I I really had a bigger expectations for his villainy character. Yeah. Um, and it did not meet those. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to agree with you. I <sighs> still love you. I and I don't blame you yeah. at all. I, I I agree with you. I think yeah. it's maybe the writing or what he was told, like how yeah. his character should be. Um, I personally <sighs> didn't like the character, like the story of the character. Yes. Um, it we'll didn't go. Make let's go to that. Sense to me. So, but again, I still love Pedro, yeah. Pedro Pascal. I think he did the best he could with what he's told. Yeah, yeah, with what he's um, told or how he's like what he's reading. Um, but I was just disappointed in him yeah. and as well as Kristen, Kristen Wiig's Wig, yeah. villainy character Barbara. as well. So, okay, they portray. Okay, the way they wrote this story, it was so misleading. I felt like, and this movie was just so misleading. Um, we see Maxwell Lord in here, and he of course he's the main character. I mean, he's the main villain, right? And it's just like, in a sense to where, like, they put two main, they put, okay, Cheetah's a very, she's, you know, she's a very, um, I would say she's a very main villain in, you know, Wonder Woman. And they just threw her off to the side like she was a nobody into, like, a small villain. Where in, in the comics, she's, you know, she's very known for as vil- a villainy. She's, like, one of the high expectations, or she's one of the high villains of, of, you know, what Joker is to Batman, you know? In a sense like that. And I'm just like, why are they throwing her off? They could have gone more into detail with her. Uh, another thing too that I'm gonna mention is that her character she just went she's very uh, in the comedy of course she's very obsessed with cheetahs you know and all that stuff she's obsessed with you know the the high food uh, the food chain in the food groups and I'm just like okay what is going on here why all of a sudden at the very end of this film we see her just barely obsessed with cheetahs or not really like she kind of gave I, hints on it at the beginning it, it wasn't so yeah. much cheetah I think it was more like being obsessed with like being a predator like the- yeah and, and they kept giving hints at it though because like her clothes her outfits were changed she was like what is she like what are they trying to give us hints at it just it felt like she just threw it to the side and then she just came back in whenever um whenever one of- yeah yeah <laughs> it was just it was very weird man i'm so surprised that one of us for doing a film like this and petty jenkins i was i was surprised i mean this story fell off. I felt like this is not the same person that directed the first one, in a sense. Um, yeah, it definitely yeah. had a, a different style Different of tone, yeah. But um, I love Kristen Wiig. I, I was disappointed by her Cheetah yeah, uh, I, character as well. Um, I But I, overall, yeah. I want to say um, it's just, again, we were maybe we're just nitpicking or something, but it, yeah. just, it wasn't as... Um, charming as the yes. first one. The first one had a lot of moments that were charming. Me personally, I'm not into love stories, so yeah. the whole first half of the movie wasn't well, my forte. But you know what? It, yeah. it did its job. It made me See, cry. Um, yeah. And then it had a point. There was a point yeah. to this. Um, love story at the beginning. And um, and see, I'm not dogging on to love story. Have a love story. That's great. But it has to intertwine with the film. And it didn't, really. It was just... I think it did. You think it did? I don't think it did. There was a whole point uh, to it. There was a point to it. Yes, I understand that again. And the way they brought... Even the way they brought Chris Pine in was very cheesy a little bit. And they kind of... I mean, to be honest, to be honest, I couldn't see any other way to bring him back. Any other logical explanation, scientific explanation, bring him back. 
the way he was brought back, you know, as cheesy as mm -hmm. it was, that was the only way I would see him coming back. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, I did find the truth, I guess, out of here was that the screenplay was written by three different people. Jeff, uh, John Jeff, Jeff Johns, uh, Patty Jenkins. And I just, you know, I don't know. I just felt like it wasn't done by her. I don't know why. I just, I felt that way. I just... I don't know why I feel that way, but in a sense to where like I felt like it wasn't it didn't have the same charming humor as the first one did. It didn't it didn't you know, it didn't you, it's hard to say cuz you're just stuck to where like you expect this high expectation because the first one was so good and it's the same director. I was happy to get it. When we first saw photos of this movie, I was so excited. I was like, "Oh my god, there's Christian Wig actually going to do a good role now. Here it goes because Ghostbusters sucked. So let's go ahead and get this I going like and the new Ghostbusters. <laughs> I uh, like that movie. <laughs> um, you know, let's get this going, man. I'm excited." And then they they had Pedro Pascal. I was like, "Oh, awesome. We get to see him do this manipulating role." And it was it was like a cheesy manipulating. It wasn't even as a high scale as I wanted it to be. I wanted to have same. I want to use the same dark, dark, um, you know, dark script that I wanted out of. I wanted when I, I what I what I mean by this. I mean like I wanted those dark, you know, those well, dark tales and well, those and those. I wanted him to really get into the mindset and to go into his mind and just up, you know, obscure that and just really go really deep hardcore emotion into that but it was too cheesy i felt um, like they were trying to do that i i, I think for me i i'm not very familiar with this character in the, in the comics um yeah. so i'm not too familiar of how he really is like uh, how big and bad of a villain he is uh, yeah. i know you mentioned a little bit of it um but i personally didn't like with the character how it was written in this film yes for was sure how it, totally different it was um I didn't understand his point of like wish, granting yeah. everyone's wishes. Yeah. Like he obviously was, you know, um, a wish take a genie. Well, yeah, a he limited was genie. He's also like also <laughs> yeah. hurting. So it was, like it was taking yeah. more and more from him the more wishes he yeah. had. So like logically, how he had mentioned one time, like I, I, could I get be something invisible. out of it. Yeah. yeah, I get something out so of it. It's just every was wish very, he gets to wish something too. It, it just it, it was, was very it was kind of misleading. Confusing. Yeah, it was misleading. a little misleading. Yeah, again, I'm not familiar with the, the again, character in the goes, comic. Yeah, it, I don't know how like that's how not, big yeah. badass villain he is in the that's comics. Not, yeah, he's a lot better in the comics than he was in this movie. So, I could say that. Um, I think that was just for me. Uh, yeah, face value, not knowing who this character is yeah. to begin with to be introduced to this, I was a little confusing. What exactly his powers were yeah. that he got from the stone um, um yeah. so that just, was a little that okay that did not feel like cheetah i'm sorry i i didn't feel like that was the cheetah that i deserved that we deserved i feel like we needed more out of this uh again it has nothing to do with the actors or actresses i hadn't i don't think it's their problem i think it goes back to where the creator the creator side the creation side of behind it which is you know patty jenkins and and uh jeff johns but i mean hey i'm i was happy to get another wonder woman um uh, but again gal gadot she was phenomenal she was great um and i love how they shed light to her actually flying more which I, I know which which is cool because she does in the comics and she does in the animation of course we see that time and time and i was trying to remember has she really flown in bvs or i mean she we've seen her jump high but I don't. I, I don't think we've yeah. ever seen her. Correct us on the comments down. Fly? Maybe she did. We didn't see it. I or don't maybe know. we were yeah. just it's escaping our minds. Yeah, of, you know, exactly. Yeah. Holidays. Yeah. Um. And I will say this: it's good to see Robin Wright again in that I uniform. It was her. awesome seeing her. She's that was a great, great. Yeah. That was a really great. Uh, seeing her for for like one scene. Um. I love that about it. I mean, I really. She. She really. She really brought the film back to life. And also that. Okay, I want to see more flashbacks. I'm not going to lie. I feel like those flashbacks are what makes it more grounded and makes it more genuine and makes it that charming Amazon humor. And just you feel deep into it. You really do because these are women that are just there. They're um, they're still, I mean, obviously they're still there and they're still struggling. I, I kind of feel like they're, I kind of feel like why didn't we see them? Like it, why didn't, you know, again, but... I don't know. It just I want to see because a flashback. they don't meddle yeah. in the affairs of men. Exactly. Yeah, but That's we, why we but don't we see, see that. Wonder Woman. Fed, uh, <laughs> we see Diana in, interfere with medals of men. Yes, but she left the yeah, mascara yeah. to help mankind. Again, though, I w it would have felt more. I think I wanted her just to go get the advice of her mother. I don't know. In a weird sense, maybe um, that could have worked. I, that probably doesn't uh, sound I, good. Yeah, I disagree with you. I don't think I want to. I would. I don't. Yeah. I, 
that seeing that would not have done anything for me. I think that would have just been a waste of footage. Yeah. Um, because that would have added at least ten minutes, you know, or maybe even more to explain yeah. how or why she's yeah. going there, the actual conversation and her coming back. Mm-hmm. That's. I mean, I don't. I disagree with you on that one. But uh, I, I do think, as far as overall, I enjoyed it face value but there were mm. like i think you said there were some small details that were yeah. just left out thought maybe not thought of thoroughly um yeah. if you're looking more of like a critique I would, side yeah that, I, I i think that's yeah. why we weren't as I, a little disappointed i would say the bit. greatest letdown in this film is the 80s environment that's just there like i feel like this film could be taken and taken uh this this time frame could have been any time frame because it's just a huge letdown. It really it didn't have the president. I mean, they just had like a random person as president. It didn't really look like president, you know. And, and it just everything was just so um, not according to detail in the '80s. I feel like they, I, I don't know. But then again, you can't go so far because Justice League and all that. So I just feel like they were just working with what they had. Um, again, that's just small details. Now going to Christian Wiig's character, uh, seeing her costume. Her costume was done good. I I really did enjoy her costume. Like her, I, and that was the major problem too. I was all like, whenever they released a trailer, remember we saw a trailer. I was all like, her, co- like that CGI was kind of hard to see. But now that we saw port up, uh, you know, uh, t- uh, take uh, true attention to detail on her costume. Did you like her costume, Kristen Wiggs? Yeah, it looked like yeah, cheetah. cheetah. Right, it was good. It looked like cheetah. The one thing I did love was that her, uh, the face was just so well drawn. I would say that it was. Good job, guys. Good job. CGI was phenomenal. I don't, I don't think we had any problem with visual effects. Visual effects were spot on, 100%. Dude, amazing. Uh, but again, it's just one of those things to where like you can have all that stuff 100% and then really lack on story plot and story details, pay attention to small little details here. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, I would say this. Ah, man, I just, again, I'm feeling stuck in the middle. Um, yeah, was, uh, was this the fun that we deserved, Angela? I, I mean, yeah. I think like, you know, the world's itching to get back to normality. And I feel yeah. like we have been kind of feeling that way when it comes to seeing movies in yeah. the theater. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, especially having it released not only on HBO Max, but in yes. theaters, giving people the opportunity to go if they, if their theater if is they open. want to, if their theater is open, yeah. if they feel safe. Um, so I'm very fortunate that we were able to go and, and, and watch it in, yeah. on the big screen. Um, yeah. I think it's definitely something we would deserve because, you know, I, I feel like the first film also was really good. Yeah, was, uh, yeah. I, I know sequels may not always live up to the hype. Um, that's our opinion on this one, too, um, that the first one was better, obviously. But I feel like it's still a good movie. Like, overall, I enjoyed it. I, I really like, I love Gal Gadot mm-hmm. as Wonder Woman. They have some cute little, like, moments and stuff. Yes. The end credit yes. scene was pretty that was funny. awesome that, that was, was awesome. awesome to see the original wonder woman that was amazing guys Thank linda you. carter she's linda great carter, yes um so i mean overall i enjoyed it and i do think this is the film you deserve because even though it may have had you know it, or they, it could have used some tweaks mm. I, I overall think that it's something yeah. that was you know not bad yeah uh i'm gonna say yes as well it's funny because i was gonna say yes regardless um it's good to it's good to be a dc fan it's good to be even though uh, people don't like to the, people love to hate on dc movies and i'm not one to hate on dc movies i'm just really i have that high expectation because i love Too these high. characters i love Too these characters high. i love all the dc characters i prefer dc over marvel um fun fact and this it's funny because you could say i'm biased but i'm really more uh critical. more cri- critical towards dc which is kind of funny right i mean you would think someone that loves dc it's like oh every dc movie is great no i'm very high upscale now uh but okay so uh, you know, I'm going to say, like, I just, I really am happy to see another Wonder Woman. I really am. Yes. Uh, and I'm excited. I was excited to see just to, all this cast come to life. Now, after seeing it, though, I was more meditating on it, more thinking about it, more critiquing it. I did enjoy it for the great sense of humor. It had, had really good funny moments in here. It had really good funny costume change moments of Chris Pine, seeing different kind of styles. Him understanding, okay, Chris Pine understanding because he was, you know, it was around the 40s, um, the early 40s, uh, when, when World War II was happening in the first film. So he didn't get to see all this stuff. And seeing him reacting to like the escalator, reacting to like certain details fashion. that we, exactly, fashion, planes, stuff that we, take for granted really and to see that that was really good i love that about chris pine he really shows light into that we saw his acting skills in that and i really did enjoy him seeing that in those roles um 
but yeah, so I mean, I, I I did enjoy seeing them together because their chemistry together was so very well done in first one, and I felt like I did enjoy it in the second one, but I didn't need an hour and fifty minutes of it. <laughs> I, I but again, they did say it's a love story packed with action, but I felt like there was less action in this movie than the first one. I don't know. That's just me though. I felt like there was less action in here than the first one. But I would say it's pretty comparable. Pretty com- yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, Angela. Let's go to ratings now. Ratings one out of ten. Ten being the highest. What are you gonna give this? Seven. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do six point five. I'm almost at seven. It just again, it just the I really did enjoy it, but I really did not enjoy. It. That makes sense. I'm like half half. Like it, I think the best way to explain it, we were talking, you know, uh, off camera was, you know, we really wanted to love it. Yes, and okay, we're yes. almost there. I wanted to love it. We really wanted to love yes, it. We're there almost there, but we'd have we're not quite at that like, mark yet. It's yeah. like right below. We're so gonna, we really yeah. enjoyed it. We really liked it. Yeah, and my but we, we didn't gonna, love it like yeah. we wanted to. Are we gonna buy this movie? Oh hell oh, yes, yeah. hell yes, we're gonna buy this movie. Hell yes, it's worth buying. I would say it really is. Just to see the character progress, uh, I really am excited just to buy this movie. I'm gonna buy the steel book, of course. Hell yeah, I'm gonna buy the steel book. Uh, again, though, everyone knows, or if you don't know, like everyone knows that I hate, I hated Justice League. I didn't like the last Justice League movie, or the yeah, the it's Justice a, it's League. It's a like, bit of a sore topic for him. yeah. <laughs> it just I hated that movie. I'm gonna I, of all scale. I will. <sighs> I wasn't even happy just to see it just because there went the just like that I wanted. But uh, as far as acting goes and the way it was put together, just yeah. But anyways, um, but yeah, when, maybe when we get the Snyder Cut, that's going to change my mind. We'll find out, guys, on when it comes on HBO Max. But yeah, all right, guys. If you stuck with us this long, thanks for watching. Thanks for making us a part of your day. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, Almost Movie Talk does recommend this movie, guys. Be sure to check this out. I'm pretty sure everyone's checking it out on Christmas Day. Whether you're seeing it at a theater or HBO Max, I know you're going to be checking this out, guys. All right, as always, I'm I'm your host, Ryan D. It's Ryan 680. I'm Angela with that and And this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Movie Talk uh, Movie Talk for movie fans. And here you have yourself a wonderful day. Happy holidays, guys. And have a safe weekend. And yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for making us a part of your day. Have a good one. Check you out later. Bye.